Hey guys, Ricardo here and welcome to another Blog Tech Tips. And of course guys, for today's tutorial, I'll be showing you how to fix the issue on almost any Samsung Galaxy Android based device. The error, your current software version isn't supported. Alright, so if you're getting the, your current software version isn't supported whenever you're connected to the internet. And of course, if you go to settings, once you're in settings, you go down all the way down. Um, and of course once you're in settings if you go over to software update and then once connected to the internet you go ahead and hit the download and install and of course here's where you normally get your updates but with this error every time you check you'll see this error here that says right here um, your current software version isn't supported visit a service center all right so of course not in every case you might not be able to visit a service center but you can actually fix this error by yourself now i'll have two solutions to this problem um, i'll start with the simpler method and of course i'll go into the more advanced method all right so first of all you can just go ahead and close out this window and just note that until you fix this error your device will not update at all so you'll have to actually get around to fixing this before you can get future software updates and by updates, I mean over the air updates are ones that you check for or automatically get, usually on a monthly basis. All right. So the first thing you want to do, guys, is get your USB cable. And of course, I recommend the original that came with your charger. Once you do that, just go ahead and simply go ahead. And what you're going to do right here, you can just simply connect it to your phone. So as you can see, I'm going to connect mine to my phone. And of course, I have my PC here. And while the PC is up, you're going to make sure that you have the application that's known as um, as Smart Switch. And of course, if you look over here, you'll see my version of so um, the software, which is called Smart Switch. I'll show you where you can actually get this online. So if we were to go online right here, and if you type into Google Smart Switch, you'll see the first link right there. And it says Samsung Smart Switch. So go ahead and click on the first option should be fine. And of course, you can get this um, in the Play Store as well. It can be downloaded to both the device and on your phone. So as you see here in the Smart Switch area here, it gives you several options. It's in Google Play. You can download it to your phone on the phone side. And of course, it gives you Windows and so on. All you got to do is just select the Get um, on Windows. And of course, once you do that, it will start downloading. And of course, I've done this already. So from here, it should be self-explanatory. You can get it and um, just give it a little time. The download link should pop up on screen and the app should download. As you can see there, it does say smart um, switch um, setup. It's 38.7 megabytes, quite easy and a fast enough connection. So I've already downloaded and installed, so I'm gonna launch. All right, so as we were saying guys, you can see mine over here. So I'm just gonna launch since it's already installed, just to save time. And all right guys, so as you can see here, it does show here that welcome to Smart Switch and it does advise down here that you connect your device to get started. And you see the cable there, so already I already have um, one end connected to the phone, so I'm going to connect this to my um, PC or laptop. So let's check this out on the screen. There you go. So I've connected, you do hear the connection sound. Give it some time, depending on the speed of your PC as well. And on the device, it does say down here, gets connected. And what I did also was to download the smart switch in the Google Play on my Android device right down here. So this tool actually has the application smart switch installed. And back to the application. Alright, so as you can see here guys, it has detected my um, smartphone. And of course, right away you can see that it has identified the device. Now it gives you several options here. And of course, let's give it some time. You should see the option there. And notice it does say to that there's a software option so what we're doing is bypassing the um, software on the phone I'm gonna try to update from here now this is the first method so let's go ahead and hit update please note that it might fail here but of course in some situations it might just go through and update your phone and you should be good um, it's always a good idea to back up your phone so I advise that either you manually back up your phone by connecting to your PC and backing up your pictures or of course using the backup feature right here I'm just gonna go ahead and hit update so the update process should be um, pretty straightforward all you gotta do guys is simply do not disconnect your device make sure make sure your device has at least 50% charge or more and of course hit the update option it will run through the process to download the file and then it will attempt to update the phone 
course it might fail as I said now for the second tip and this one would involve you going to a website called Sam Mobile so for the second method search in Google for Sam Mobile that's S-A-M-M-O-B-I-L-E and of course you'll see the major links on the website firmware download firmware and updates so what you're going to do here is just simply go to the download firmware or the firmware section and of course um, it says find any firmware it says the latest firmware so I'm going to download um, firmware now you can check this out guys this is the firmware section now there are a lot of information here it says you're going to type in your model and of course your country now you're going to search if you want to let's say for example you're going to put in your exact model do not use make sure that the model is correct so you can check the um, smartphone box that came with your device so for example um, my box for my galaxy s10 right here you're going to search for the model number it's always written on there go ahead and type out the specific model number and of course you can select your country over here and once you search you should be able to find your um, firmware file and the firmware is a flash file all right so as you can see here guys i have typed in my firmware which is the galaxy s10 plus the smg 975f um, be warned if you have a dual sim version there are special rules for dual sim versions if you have a straight carrier version um, those should be easier to find dual sim you have to be very careful as you do not want to get the wrong firmware so go ahead and uh, hit there and of course for your country you can choose from the courage the country from which the device originated for example my device is the international version it came from another region you might want to research that but of course for my version let's say for example you could say your country would be uh, you United yes, huh? and of course it will filter based on where you are from so for example my version was from the UAE I think and that's the United Arab Emirates um, let's say for example it was this version so you need to research these things to know what version is yours so I'll select this one here and I'm just demonstrating here quickly um, what to do so just um, check for updates for my device it will show you all the available firmwares and I'm just doing giving you a um, rundown here guys to give you a rough idea as to what to do so let's say for example I'm sure of my version notice it says version 10 and these are Android versions and let's say for example I would hit this one right here and you might have to create an account just to be allowed to download you notice your download options and please note I'm not, not associated with um, any way with this website this is just a website that most people use and there you go it gives you the firmware version Android 10 it does say just download or fast download I think the just download is the slow connection but it does um, it says non premium members this one is a free one they have a paid version the free version should be okay you are gonna go ahead and um, hit the just download and when you hit the just download you might have to create a um, create an account I use this from time to time um, so it shouldn't be a problem you might use that account again later on also you want to check out over here guys um, in terms of tutorial it does show you here on this side over here which is the right hand side what you're gonna do so it gives you a bunch of things it says you're gonna download this file here called Odin and of course it says extract file and it tells you what you're supposed to have then it said add each file and um, it tells you what to do in terms of rebooting your device once downloaded connect to your phone um, it does show here um, what to look out for in terms of checkboxes and it says it start so basically it runs you through what to do in case of um, one file or a set of downloads with five files notice you're going to use Odin and Odin is a flashing tool and of course it gives you here everything that you need so if you follow the instructions right here and just in case you do not you're not um, feeling confident you can always go over to YouTube and search for how to flash your specific device and I'm sure either they'll give you the Sam mobile website and Sam mobile or they'll I will provide another link as usual be careful you don't want to find um, arbitrary files I know it's kind of um, long and of course some users should be fine for other usual users this might be too difficult if it's too difficult you might have to just carry your device to the service center as advised the service center agents tend to provide and do all of this for you and of course if you do not have that luxury this is the process you have to go through so let's hope that the first method of using smart switch will automatically fix your device if not 
this is the only other way to download the firmware file and flash it on using Odin. All right, guys, um, if you need a specific tutorial with Odin itself, I can do that. But for now, I'm just going to leave it here. All right, guys, so this is Ricardo Gardner as usual from Blog Tech Tips. Same bye until next time. Please leave any comments below. And of course, if you need that follow-up video, let me know in the comments and I'll actually create it, showing you how to actually flash your device and so on. All right, guys, Ricardo Gardner from Blog Tech Tips. Same bye until next time. Bye.